Hey guys, tonight on Beer Geek Nation, Sierra Nevada's 30th, Kevin Fritz Imperial Stout. Hey guys, welcome to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris Steltz. With me to my left is Mr. Ben Hoover. Hello! <laughs> and today we are looking at Sierra Nevada, the first in their 30th ales, 30th anniversary ale series. This is the Ken and Fritz Imperial Stout. 9.2%. Um, look, Sierra Nevada, never had a bad Sierra Nevada, not gonna lie to you. Um, one of my favorite breweries. Consistent. Yeah, to say the least. Um, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I mean, it's the staple pale ale. Um, West Coast, Sierra Nevada pale ale, East Coast, we'll say Hop Devil and that'll be that. But um, So I'm looking forward to this. I've never had a stout from Sierra Nevada. I don't know that they've ever made one. I, I mean, they may have, have, but I mean, so I'm really looking forward to this. Um, it's actually the guy from Anchor Bay, or Anchor Bay, Anchor Steam Brewing and Sierra Nevada. They're the two, that's Ken and Fritz. Um, they got together and they made this is the first in four. It's going to be a different style. Um, the anniversary is coming out. So without further ado, because I really want to taste this one, uh, I'm going to get into a cup here, let you know how it tastes, let you know how it smells, and give you the verdict. Okay, so pouring it, um, lots of head. Yeah, tons of head. Really carbonated. Um, cork shot right off, no problem. Black. Yeah, black as night. I mean, Imperial Stout. I would hope it would be black as night. Dark, you know, well not a dark brown, but a brown, light brown head. Um, very, very traditional to the style, which is kind of what I would expect from a Sierra Nevada. Um, as far as the aroma goes, it's a lot smokier than I thought it was going to be. Um, a lot of chocolate malt, obviously, used in this one. Yeah, it's kind of a sweet smoke. Yeah, it's, it's like a, sweet, a, a sweet, roasty kind of smoke to it. No hop characters. I was expecting a little bit of hoppiness from a Sierra Nevada. I'm not smelling any. Um, maybe there's some in the taste. I, I don't know. You have had this beer before, right? Yes, I have. Oh, it's a little inebriated. <laughs> uh, I don't remember it being very hoppy, I'll tell you that right now. No? Definitely a little bit of hop, hop bitterness in there. Not there, a whole yeah. lot. Yeah. I tasted malt on yeah. the tip of my tongue, to like half back. It was sweet malt and smokiness. Lots of smokiness in this one. Smokiness and the bitterness at the end kind of meld together into some kind of I don't know what. That's that's incredible. I think this might be a really good aging beer, to tell you the truth. Um, give this beer about six months to a year, and I think a lot of that roasted kind of smokiness is going to go away, and you're going to get kind of a smoother. What's the alcohol? 9.2. 9.2. I mean, I'm actually getting a little coating on my lips yeah. right now. It's, it's up there. And it's uh, you get kind of a, it's like a burnt chocolate kind of taste to it. Um, where if you've ever had like an old Rasputin, that's more of a coffee, chocolatey kind of imperial stout. This is more on the roasted, kind of burnt caramel caramelization on it. Um, both, you know, perfectly fine as far as the uh, the style goes. Ooh, smoke doesn't die down either. It's, no, no. It sticks with it. And this drink. Mm. This this temperature is probably about right. It's probably about 45 degrees. Um, it's warming up real quickly out here. Um. I don't know what else to say about this one. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's a solid Imperial Stout. Um, yeah, get if you can. I mean, this was at the Brass Rail in Campbelltown. This is this will get around. They they are claiming they're going to get for the 30th anniversaries uh, better distribution than for their anniversary ale, which is very small. Everything comes from on-site hops and uh, grains. There's, there's state ale. The state ale. Sorry. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But. Uh, this they're claiming to have better distribution of, and I actually called them out on it, and then the next day they were there. So I, <laughs> I have to say that you could probably still get this uh, Fritz and Ken's ale, this this uh, stout. Yeah, it is. From what I understand, it's everywhere. Every every place I go that's supposed to have it is sold yeah. out of it. And so. then there's there's a few more. Yeah. A few more of these uh, beers to come out that'll be different. Three more. Uh, two more. Is there two more? I think they're doing four. Four, four total. total. Yeah. yeah. So this is the first installment. Get them if you can. Uh, they should be pretty plentiful. 
And I would say uh, sell her a bottle. If you can get it, maybe sell her a bottle of each. Um, and then like a year after they're all out, try them. Maybe do a burn testing or something. But this is a solid Imperial Stout. Is it the greatest Imperial Stout I've ever had? No, no. Um, but it's good. I was actually expecting more along the lines of like a Goose Island Night Stalker where it was really hoppy just because it was Sierra Nevada. Didn't get that. It's a really smoky, kind of savory, um, roasty Imperial Stout. Yeah, it's a little sipper for sure. Yeah, definitely. Um, so again, this is Sierra Nevada. It's the Ken and Fritz Imperial Stout, 9.2%. What, what would you give it? Oh, <laughs> on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this one an 8. I'm not real... Super, maybe I had it built up in my head, but I'm going to give it an 8. Um, I've had better Imperial Stouts, to tell you the truth. I will say that... I would give it a 7.5. Actually, a little lower. I really like Sierra Nevada. I'm really happy they're doing a 30th anniversary. You know, they really like to, you know, they're one of the first craft breweries in oh, America. They're for the new wave, and they're, they're good. But the, the I, Bigfoot's one of the first, quote, extreme beers I've yeah, ever I, produced. So. I would not consider this the best ever. It's really good and tasty. I would have bought a bottle anyway, just because yeah. Sierra Nevada, like you said, we're consistent. They're a good brewery. But I'd give it a 7.5. I'm really anxious to see the next beers. I haven't read the descriptions of them or what they're going to be, but I, I, I saw what they were. I don't remember. All the time. But I would be really interested to try them next. Um, if you do, you know, if you can get this, I would say get it. If not, and you've never had an Imperial Stout, I would say try to find like an old Rasputin from North Coast Brewing or a Founders Imperial Stout, which is just a phenomenal. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a great beer. It's probably, I would definitely get one to cellar. I think it's going to be a different beer from six months to a year from now. So definitely do that. Um, but until next time, I'm Chris Stokes. And I'm Ben Hoover. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.